I taste certainly for real. God take bite for real, no joke, I receive a real body and a real blood. No joke, no joke, no joke peace be upon you it's been narrated that, some Gentiles used to make an idols out of Adjwa, pressed dates. Thinking it'll get them closer to Allah they kneeled to it and consecrated it. And if they felt hungry, they eat it. That was back the old days. Nowadays, some people will make a bread out of flour. Claiming that this bread converts to their God's body. So, they kneel to it and consecrates it. Then after that they consume it. And also make a wine out of grape, claiming that this wine converts to their God's blood. So, they kneel to it and consecrates it. Then after that they drink it. Today I'm telling the whole story through presenting multiple videos from inside the churches. For Christian preachers the video is intended to be away from sarcasm and mocking. Although this topic itself calls for sarcasm and laugh. But as we used to always do on our channel, scientific criticism and respected thesis should be sufficient. Thus everybody can clearly see the difference between Islam and Christianity. See the difference between pure monotheism religion. And all other religions. So kindly stay tuned and watch the video till the end. Ahmed Sobia Eucharist O Our Holy Communion O Our Lord's Supper is one of the most important rituals in Christianity. Orthodox and Catholics believe in it but Protestants consider it only a symbol and a memory. And they say that what Orthodox and Catholics do is polytheism and idolatry. And make fun of Orthodox and say, they bake their God in an oven. Protestant preacher, if those are worshipping devils and you sat with them then you are associating devils. To make things more clear some say that this bread is the body of Christ. Is his body or does it represent it? No no no, this is very important. This is a very dangerous teaching Anba Bishui the Mutran of Dumiat and Bahira. Secretariat of the Holy Council criticizing Protestant. This means he is an important Egyptian Christian figure. If they Protestant say that they are not Christians they we wouldn't care about them. But they say we are all one in Christ and they take our children. And they teach our children that we are worshipping idols in church when you use incense upon icons. And you worship idols when you prostrate to the sacrifice during memorial prayer. And you bake your God in an oven don't you know what they say about us. And I won't exclude you from actually being a Protestant. Most Arab Christians believe in this ritual because they are Orthodox and Catholics. The majority of Egyptian Christian are Orthodox and for them this ritual is very important. And one of the seven secrets of the church they even say that no human may touch it except the main priest in the church. Anba Raphael, Eucharist is the greatest secret given to humans by God, the greatest gift. Priest Yusuf Samir, the Lord's Supper is something very 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 great. And this memorial is something very 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 great. And because one needs to do something very 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 great, he must be very 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 ready this is very 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 beautiful. Very x3 Christians at the day of the memorial prayer, must go to church while fast and they can't even brush their teeth. All that so they can eat God and drink his blood Father Shnoda. Someone asked, is brushing teeth before Eucharist wrong? The answer is, yes you may brush at night as much as you like. And clean your teeth as much as you like and use mouthwash. And wash your mouth as much as you like and go to sleep comfortably. But don't brush your teeth in the morning I will a little bit less, and instead of thinking about what my body will eat. I will think about whom my spirit will eat my spirit will eat daddy Jesus. Honestly now, can I eat beans then Christ's body enters after beans. It's no problem, I can eat beans after Christ I can eat a bean sandwich on my way out of church. Or maybe cheese, or eggs but at least when Jesus enters. He enters to a place where I can say to him, you are the first one to enter. Of course you can't eat beans and then eat our Lord. Is it okay for the meat of daddy Jesus to enter and see that you ate beans before it? It's surely not okay look my brother how the Christians glorify our Lord. They have not appraised Allah with true appraisal Quran 39, 67. After reciting prayers and reading some texts from the Gospel, the deacons, who are servants in the church, present seven or nine loaves of bread. They call them sacrifices those are baked in a certain way. 
Baked by a man a woman may not bake them and the priest chooses the best loaf. To use it for the ritual and he brings a cup of wine. The rituals of transforming bread and wine into real body and blood. And the rituals are performed very accurately, and only the priest may touch the bread with his hand. And we will explain what happens if a disaster took place during the ritual. A disaster like if a piece of bread fell on the ground. Or if some wine fell on the clothes of the Christian in church. And what if a fly fell into the wine? Then the priest slices the bread into little pieces called asbadikin. A little piece of bread, the priest cuts it with his own right hand, not the left. And he dips it in the wine then he passes the wet bread in a particular on the loaf. When passing the piece on the loaf, the priest says for example, a holy body and a real precious blood of Jesus Christ the Son of our God, Amen. And he recites some other text, and they think that this loaf after prayers and rituals actually turns into a real body. Not just metaphorical or imagery real body also the wine, they think it really turns into the blood of God. Not metaphorical or imagery then the priest cuts this bread into tiny pieces. Each piece is called, Jafara jewelry, each one is the full body not a part. Then the priest says some prayers where he confesses that this bread and this wine are real body and real blood. And Christians say after him without thinking Amen. After that, our father says the confession this means that we admit that this is real body and real blood. And everyone says, Amen after the confession we are ready to eat. That's why I want you to be ready because the plane landed. And we will get down into the heavenly city to eat from the body of our Lord and his blood. Voice of Abbot Lammy. at the end our father asks us again. Do you know what you are going to eat or have you forgotten? This is the real body of Lord Jesus and that's the real blood of our Lord Jesus. And we continue to say, Amen, Amen, Amen before we eat. The most important thing is to say Amen Amen Amen. Say Amen 1000 times, but don't think once the priest starts eating from the body of the Lord, he eats a tiny piece. Then he feeds the deacons then he feeds the Christians from the body of the Lord, and waters them from his blood. First men, then women women can't eat before men the Christians leaves behind his shoes, and his brain, and moves forward with his mouth open. With his head tilted back so the priest could feed him from the body of the Lord inside his mouth, and nothing fall on the ground. And he puts a little napkin with his right hand below his mouth. To make sure that not a single part of the Lord's body falls on the ground. And when drinking wine, the Lord's blood they use a special spoon, called, Mistier. And Christians drink without putting the spoon in their mouth. Using lips only even though the Christian tastes normal bread and wine. Yet the church convinced him this bread and wine actually turned into body and blood. And the Lord dwelt in them that's why if a fly fell into the wine. It can't be thrown and must be drank by the priest because it contains the Lord's blood. And the Lord's blood can't be thrown no one except the priest is allowed to touch the loaf or the cup. And if a piece of bread stuck between your teeth. Don't use your hand to take it out. Use your mouth and be polite with the Lord Priest Johanna Wadi. Is it okay to touch the cup? The kids, no. If our father gave you a piece of body, can you eat it using your hand? The kids, no we don't touch, even if our father touched. And if a piece fell from our father no one may touch it, even you. You can't touch it with your hand and if by accident some wine spilled on the wall of the cup, the priest must lick it. So the Lord's body won't fall to the ground if a disaster happened and wine spilled on someone's shirt, he can't take it off, the priest must undress him and then wash his shirt and drink the washing water. Because you can't throw Jesus's water the Lord's blood. The priest drinks the water, if you spilled on your clothes, go to the deacon, and our father takes your clothes and washes them and drink the water. And if some bread fell on the ground they vacuum it and collect the dust and throw it in the sea. And if they doubted that some little pieces fell on the carpet, the carpet must be burned. And the Macarius not an atom must be wasted, if some fell on the ground it should be vacuumed, and the dust be thrown into the sea. After everyone eats God's body and drink his blood. If some bread is left in the tray or some wine in the cup. 
Those are eaten by the priest and the deacons because they can't leave any piece of bread or drop of wine to the next day. If they left them, the Lord's body will rot. Is it okay to let the Lord's body rot? No, of course not. And but Raphael, if any bread is left in the tray the priest and the deacons eat again. And the drink blood again because in our Coptic church, the sacrifice can't remain until the second day. All must be eaten our father makes sure nothing is left. And all jewels are eaten, the deacon is next to him watching. To show how much we care about every jewel of its viewed by us a precious body. Which is indeed the reason for the salvation of mankind. Our father drinks the blood and washes the cub then drink the washing water. After they eat all the bread and wine the priest washes the tray and drink the washing water several times. He and the deacons several times to make sure it's clean. Because they can't throw this water because it most contains some of the Lord's meat and drops of his blood. The priest washes the tray and the cup very thoroughly and drinks with the deacons to make sure nothing of God thrown on the ground or in the gutters. With this the memorial is done and the Lord is now inside the Christians. Bon Appa copyright tip for everyone I conclude with the saying of Allah, exalted and glorified. They have not appraised Allah with true appraisal, while the earth entirely will be within his grip on the day of resurrection, and the heavens will be folded in his right hand. Exalted is he and high above what they associate with him. Quran 36 67 They offer worship to a piece of bread they glorify it more than God and Islam calls you for the pure religion away from all this paganism and myths will you cease. This video is over, if you benefited press like and share and if you want support us you can through Patreon don't forget us from your good dua peace be upon you and the mercy of Allah and his blessings.